And the last time I saw Ben, he's riding a Korean subway train, reading a book about pottery. For me, what can you tell me? I can tell you that we... Hello, gang. How are we doing? Good. How are you? Good. You lot must be relieved that I'm your last one of the day, I just heard. <laughs> it's been fun. You're more looking forward to a drink and a relax now, right? You don't want to be doing more of this. We can do this all day. <laughs> don't, because I'll challenge you. I will sit here all day. I will call that bluff. <laughs> Tavi, I want to start with you, because you've completed some of my life goals. I mean, you've been in an episode <laughs> of The Simpsons. You've been in a Carly Rae Jepsen music video. You've got the life I want. I mean, you've even manicured Julia Louis-Dreyfus's feet. You're a, kind of a, a big deal. But this was Randall's first ever film he's ever directed. Was he as magical to work with as I imagined he was? Oh, yeah. He was amazing. I mean, I now that we're talking about the movie, all these moments are coming back. Like, one of the in the scene with the performance art, I had to address the didgeridoo player by name and Randall just kept thinking of like every take, he had a new name for him. And I think we went through like Jebediah, Apricot and Colorado Rhythm, which I think is the one that made it in. Um, so just to be like on my toes and taking direction and new lines from him was really just unbelievably fun. Justin, you suffered for your art in this film. I mean, from filming in god-awful temperatures to just playing someone who's a little bit insufferable. I mean, Randall really put you through it in this. Either from shortcomings or for any other project in your past, has there ever been a shoot or a day where you've just gone, really, you're gonna make me do that? <laughs> uh, you know, the hardest days are often the most satisfying. So I want to preface that before saying what I'm going to say, but um, probably the, one of the most difficult days on set was the scene in the subway because uh, we had to sort of have a very small crew sort of run and gun into a subway. You know, nothing is stopping in New York for us. They don't care at all that we're shooting a movie. So are walking in and through the shot i'm trying to get to a very emotional place because this is right after uh you know the, the sort of climactic breakup scene um there was just so much chaos and again as you already mentioned it was about 5,000 degrees in that subway underground in new york summer humidity so it was a tough tough shoot uh but uh again really gratifying uh for how how it all turned out I don't want to try and say we're on par, but this is probably the hottest summer that London has ever had. So I'm worried you're getting me at my most sweaty. You look great. Thank you guys. You know what? I might give you guys a good edit now. Thank you. <laughs> Ali, I, I know Randall also made you and Sherry suffer because you two were waiting for weeks, waiting to see if you got cast in shortcomings. And I heard that you two would be texting each other. I bet there's some scathing messages about Randall in there for making you wait so long. What what sort of stuff were you two sending each other? Can you imagine our our love for Randall turns into that I hate Randall group? That would never happen. But yeah, Sherry and I were, you know, we're really good friends outside of this movie and before this movie. And so when we both found out we were kind of in the in the mix, there was definitely a lot of uh, you know texts going back and forth and we both got the same feedback after our chemistry reads with Justin was like you know yeah it's looking good but we're waiting on Randall's process and we both got the same thing Randall's process and we we're like how long is Randall's process what does this mean let's get it going and he's like how long is Randall's process and it ended up being like at least a few days which feels like forever when you're waiting for something but uh yeah we still joke about that we're like randall's process i might use that myself now if like my fiance says take the bins out I might just be like that's all part of daniel's process i've just yeah, got yeah. to wait all part of the process exactly and justin finally after seeing you in this i'm worried that you're just going to be typecast as bens because you just play a ben so well I mean, obviously you played Ben in Shortcomings, but also in Umbrella Academy. And the last time I saw Ben, 
he's riding a Korean subway train reading a book about pottery. I, I have no idea what's going on there, but I'm so, so hyped, man. Like, what, what can you tell me? I know there's not much you can tell me, but for me, what can you tell me? I can tell you that we wrapped the final season a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it was an incredible, very bittersweet process and journey. Um, and I'm excited for you to see it. <laughs> That's all I can. I'll just have to dub something in AI and you'll just say like, everyone dies, the end. Thank you so much for chatting to me, guys. I loved, love, 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 love shortcomings. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Enjoy your evening now. Go, be free with press. <laughs> okay, bye.